Hi everyone, Susan Brown with the Center for Better Bones. We all know and we've known for decades that high impact exercises, the loading of bone builds bone. We've seen dramatic results with children, for example, with jumping. They build a terrific amount of bone. We've seen that premenopausal women, you could actually build some bone with jumping. Recently, a few years ago, a British group looked at older men and could you build bone not with jumping but with hopping, with one-legged hopping. Of course, when you hop on one leg, you put the impact of the whole body on that one leg, so it's kind of a bigger load. Um, children, of course, can jump really high and come down strong. Maybe younger women can jump high and come down strong. But as we get older, we need more impact, and they found that with hopping, it was effective in older men. So now the question was, can you possibly build bone density of the hip, particularly the neck of the hip, with hopping in older women? And I'm happy to say this British study is the first study just published in 2020 showing that you can indeed build bone density with older women by doing one-legged hopping. This was a study just like the study in men where they had people slowly and over a period of months work up to hopping on one single leg 50 times. And at the end of the six months, they were actually hopping in every direction, you know, front, side, back, side, to get all different parts of the hip stimulated. And they, this study on women was unique in that they also looked at cartilage because you might say, okay, I would like to do some hopping, but am I going to hurt my joints? What they found is these women did not hurt their joints, and even though the study of cartilage showed that many of these women had pathologies in the cartilage, they did not develop arthritis, and their cartilage actually was favored by this exercise. So it was a safe exercise, very effective, hopping on one leg. The blog is going to have lots of details, but what I want to suggest, you go slowly, work up slowly, but know that that extra load we can put on from single leg hopping has been shown to build bone density in the neck of the hip. And I presume it also built the total hip, only this, this study did not look at total hip. It looked at the neck of the hip, which is the place where half of all hip fractures occur. So read it carefully. Know that this is a groundbreaking study that showed, indeed, you can build bone in older women well beyond menopause with one-legged hopping. 50 hops a day, work up slowly, maybe you also will benefit. And let me say that when I personally do it, I use the weighted vest. If you use a vest, use it also while you're doing this hopping because you can put greater impact. Again, work up slowly, use low weights at first or just a few hops, but that also makes a lot of sense. You can put a little extra load. Let us know how it goes. Best wishes.